The Rise of Karolina Pliskova She is one of the most consistent and powerful players on the WTA Tour. She has reached the world number one ranking, won 16 singles titles, and reached three Grand Slam finals. She is Karolina Pliskova, and this is her story. Hello and welcome to another episode where we explore the careers and achievements of some of the greatest players in the history of the sport. Today, we are going to talk about Karolina Pliskova, the Czech star who has been dominating the women's game for the past few years. We will look at her background, her style of play, her highlights, and her challenges. If you are a fan of tennis, you don't want to miss this video. So make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications bell to never miss an update from us. Karolina Pliskova was born on March 21, 1992 in Luni, Czech Republic. She started playing tennis at the age of four, following in the footsteps of her older sister Kristina, who is also a professional tennis player. The twins were coached by their father Radek Plisek, who was a former ice hockey player. Karolina showed great talent and potential from an early age, winning several junior tournaments and reaching the final of the 2010 Australian Open Junior event. Pliskova turned pro in 2009 and quickly rose up the ranks with her aggressive and powerful game. She played mostly on the ITF circuit for the first few years, winning 10 titles and reaching a career-high ranking of 74 in 2012. She also made her Fed Cup debut for the Czech Republic in 2010, helping her team win the title that year. Pliskova's first breakthrough came in 2013, when she won her first WTA title in Kuala Lumpur, defeating Bethany Maddox-Sands in the final. She also reached two more finals that year, Linz and Sofia, she finished the year ranked 67 in the world and was named the WTA Newcomer of the Year. In 2014, Pliskova hired Jiri Vonik as her coach and started to improve her fitness and consistency. She won two more titles that year, Seoul and Linz. She also reached four more finals, Pattaya City, Nuremberg, Hong Kong, and Zhuhai. She broke into the top 30 for the first time and qualified for the WTA Elite Trophy. In 2015, Pliskova continued to impress on the tour, winning one more title in Prague and reaching three more finals, Sydney, Dubai, and Stanford. She also reached her first Grand Slam quarterfinal at the U.S. Open, where she lost to eventual champion Flavia Panetta. She finished the year ranked 11 in the world and qualified for the WTA Finals for the first time. Pliskova's biggest achievement came in 2016, when she reached her first Grand Slam final at the U.S. Open. She defeated two top 10 players, Venus Williams and Serena Williams, en route to the final, where she faced Angelique Kerber. Pliskova put up a great fight, but lost in three sets to the German. However, she proved that she belonged to the elite group of players and that she could challenge for the biggest trophies. In 2017, Pliskova reached another milestone in her career. She became the world number one after Wimbledon. She was the first Czech woman to achieve this feat since Martina Navratilova in 1987. She held the top spot for eight weeks and finished the year as world number four. She also won three titles that year, Brisbane, Doha, and Eastbourne. She also reached two more Grand Slam quarterfinals, Australian Open and French Open. She was one of the most consistent and dominant players of the season. In 2018, Pliskova parted ways with Vanek and hired Thomas Krupa as her new coach. She won two more titles that year, Stuttgart and Tokyo. She also reached two more finals, Tianjin and the WTA Finals. She also helped her country win the Fed Cup for the sixth time in eight years, defeating the United States in the final. In 2019, Pliskova added another coach to her team, former Wimbledon champion Conchita Martinez. She won four more titles that year, Brisbane, Rome, Eastbourne, and Zhengzhou. She also reached two more finals, Miami and Shenzhen. She finished the year ranked second in the world and qualified for the WTA finals for the fourth time. In 2020, Pliskova had a difficult season due to the COVID-19 pandemic and some injuries. She won only one title in Brisbane and reached only one final in Rome. She also failed to reach the quarterfinals of any Grand Slam for the first time since 2014. She finished the year ranked sixth in the world and did not qualify for the WTA Finals. In 2021, Pliskova hired Sasha Bejin as her new coach and started to regain her form and confidence. She won one more title in Montreal and reached two more Grand Slam Finals, 
Wimbledon, and U.S. Open. She lost both finals to Ashley Barty and Emma Raducanu, respectively, but showed great determination and courage in both matches. She is still chasing her first major title, but she has shown that she is not giving up on her dream. Karolina Pliskova is one of the most successful and respected players on the WTA Tour. She has achieved so much in her career and has inspired many young girls to pursue their passion for tennis. She is also a proud representative of her country, having won six Fed Cup titles with the Czech Republic team. She is a true champion and a legend of the sport. Pliskova has won 16 WTA singles titles, reached 32 WTA singles finals, reached three Grand Slam singles finals, reached world number one ranking, earned over $23 million in prize money, played over 600 matches, won over 400 matches, hit over 5,000 aces, and spent over 300 weeks in the top 10. When she is not on the court, Pliskova enjoys spending time with her family and friends. She has a wonderful husband, Michael Herdlicka, who is also her manager and agent. He used to be a TV presenter and a sports commentator. They met in 2016 and got married in 2018 in a stunning ceremony in Monte Carlo, where they reside. They are a perfect match for each other, as they share the same passion for sports and travel. They always support each other's careers and celebrate each other's achievements. Pliskova also has a furry friend who keeps her company and makes her happy. His name is Kuba, and he is a Maltese dog. He is adorable and fluffy, and Pliskova loves him very much. She often takes him with her to tournaments and hotels where he gets pampered and spoiled. She also likes to share his photos and videos on her Instagram account, where he has many fans who adore him too. Another hobby that Pliskova has is playing golf. She finds it relaxing and fun, and it also helps her improve her concentration and coordination. She plays golf with her husband, who is also an avid golfer. They have won some amateur tournaments together and have a friendly competition with each other. Pliskova also follows golf on TV and has some favorite players, such as Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. Pliskova is not only a great tennis player, but also a great human being. She cares about the world and the people around her, and she tries to make a difference with her actions. She supports many charities and organizations that work for various causes, such as children's health, education, sports, environment, etc. Some of them are UNICEF, Laureus Sport for Good Foundation, Children's Oncology Clinic in Prague, etc. She also takes part in exhibition matches and events that raise money and awareness for these causes. She believes that everyone can help in their own way and that every little bit counts. And that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Karolina Pliskova and her amazing career. She is truly an inspiration and a role model for many people. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And let us know in the comments below what you think of Pliskova and who you want us to feature next on our show. Thank you for watching and see you next time.